Hey ho, so uh, we're back on the bench here and we're talking about the Comanche build again. So I'll give you guys a nice update on what's happening here. Uh, I'm pretty excited to say that we're, we've kind of decided on the theme we're going to use for this truck here now. Uh, we've got the stripe kit here from JS Scale. This is the, obviously, this is the sport truck version. There's a Pioneer version that starts at the bottom here and goes up. There's a couple of other ones, 4x4s and different ones multi-colored stripe kits. Um, the sport truck kit looks just like this on the real one so they've done a really nice job replicating it and uh, obviously we're keeping the same dirty white sort of a truck theme that we've got going on. Um, I really like the way this is turning out. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of not that excited about is that it turns out that the wheels just aren't going to work. They're Jeep wheels and all that stuff except that uh, there's too much bling here. So I think I'm going to replace the wheels with these uh, Boom Racing Classics. Um, basically what I want to come up with is kind of an old, dirty, rusty sort of a wheel. You know, a steel wheel that's had a hard life. Uh, so I think I'm going to keep the same tire, which is the Dirt Grabber. And I'll put them in the lathe so I can mill off some of the tread and make them look dirty and old. And then we're going to use these uh, Boom Racing rims and I'm going to get them all weathered up before they assemble. So should be okay. Now, obviously there's still a lot more to do. I have to put all the lights in, get the hood mounted with the hinges and all that stuff. And uh, I've got to do the corner trim here that goes into the uh, extended cab section and put in the glass and that. We have the floor pan already made up now. Uh, this is the cool news. The, uh, the cab just comes off like this. So that makes it really, really easy to get the access in there. And uh, the floor pan should be uh, off of the printer here soon, and you'll get uh, you'll see what I've done. I've actually filled in this entire area, the whole console here, with a couple of seat pads in a 3D print, and then there's a full firewall that fits in here with the dash mounted on the firewall. So it should be a pretty nice assemble once all these other parts are ready to go. Uh, we're using a 55 turn motor in here. This ought to work great with this setup uh, to keep the truck nice and slow and give us low end control and then we run a small 3S battery here on the floor pan so that uh, we can get the throttle zip, zip when you need it and some wheel speed. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to talk about today was uh, because we've got the stripe kit going, I think it was worthwhile to talk about uh, the theme of the truck being this old well used sort of a sort of a pickup that we're going to go with. Uh, this side of the truck as you can see is kind of done. I'm, I'm probably going to put a little bit of a decal sealer on this because uh, I just want to make sure that it doesn't come off or get scratched off when I'm out on the trail. But um, in the back we'll finish it up with a bunch of uh, plywood and stuff. But This is the side I really wanted to show you. Um, Doing this old truck theme, uh, it becomes really apparent that this isn't going to work, the wheel. Basically because we've got the one replacement fender on the truck here. Uh, there's one fender that's been replaced and put in primer. We've got the, the old wood, or the old uh, trim, sorry, on here. And then on this side of the box here, the, the paint has been falling off. Um, this was entirely intentional. And what we've actually done is trimmed around the decal here. So where the paint is falling off, the decal is also falling off. And I think that's part of the look that we're going for. We're actually trying to create an original truck that's been out in the elements and beat up and weathered and dented. And it's got, it's got some problems. And part of the theme is this. So I knew that this was going to happen a long time ago just because of the way we did the truck. And uh, I was really, really excited that it came out as well as I thought it was going to. And so when as soon as the decal kit came in, I knew right away that the, the decal was going to get cut out around the, the paint, the, the falling off paint. And so it just, it just turned out exactly the way I wanted it to, and I couldn't be more happy. Uh, so basically the next phase of this is uh, we're working on the front end. Um, you can see... A little bit of where we're going with the front end here right now. There's uh, we've got a bit of a dent in the bumper here, 
and that crosses into the grill work here there's a piece of grill missing actually out of the truck there's a big dent here in the grill uh, there's another big dent at the bottom of the bumper here and on this side here we've actually torn a piece off of the rubber fender cover so uh, you can kind of get an idea of where we're going with the front end this is all going to get weathered up so that all these dents and marks actually are, are part of the theme um, I'm just really excited now to finally have the decal kit on and be able to see what it's going to look like with the paint falling off and now I'm really excited. But more so than that, um, I'm really excited to finally get to the place where we can do the interior work with something that, um, with 3D printing that's actually going to really help us out. Uh, you know this body of course is also used on the XJ and so uh, there's a lot of XJ C Maxes out there. Uh, we've built a couple of them ourselves. And so now that we've actually got this uh, console cover and floor pan and firewall designed in the 3D printing, we're going to be able to just stick that right in here in the Comanche. And then we'll be able to modify it and put it in the XJ. So I just feel like this whole product development is really taking off and going somewhere good. Uh, next thing is going to, the next video update is probably going to be. I'm guessing about uh, maybe a week and a half. Um, I've got to go down to the Florida store and get the Bronco stuff finished up. Um, this is the Viterra radius arm set that we've been showing off for a little over a year now. And uh, this uh, is has been modified now to work on a C-Max. And uh, we've got a bit of a prototype here that we've, this is actually the finished parts, but uh, there's very few of these that have been made and uh, we're going to fit this onto the C-Max Bronco and uh, I'm really excited about that so I'm going to Florida to do that so this is actually going to be probably a couple of weeks before we see another Comanche update but at that point it'll have the full floor pan in the interior and firewall so thanks for watching guys and uh, happy tiny trucking.